This will be fun. Opening fire! Are these real ruins? Huh, it's just like in the cereals. Velma seen out of sorts to you. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the... We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. The dissidents actually took over the republic. Remember that stranger I saw on the screen? What can I do for you, darling? I've been thinking of a name for this new outfit. Chimera. 
crafted from the hides of three species of monster. While you were gone, I put in an order for one of my bespoke lapels. Solid gold, diamond encrusted. If it doesn't have one of my lapels, it's not a Jalikar original. Those slackwits at HPS are holding my parcel while they wait for a signature. Bureaucracy is so utterly insufferable. Be a dear and retrieve it for me. Wonderful! I'm giving you authorization to retrieve this parcel on my behalf. You truly are my savior, darling. I've always loved that school. The best finest way. I tell you what, we'll change the A fine day for parcel pickups, isn't it? Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. Halcyon Parcel Service is the most dependable parcel delivery service in the colony. You might even say we're part and parcel of Halcyon's commercial enterprise. That's just a little parcel joke. Nope, just parcels. We don't deal in packages. It's very technical. Halcyon Parcel Service strictly adheres to the standards and definitions of packaging as outlined by the Executive Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. We can ship all the parcels you want. But if I start shipping packages, I could get into some real trouble. Handcuffs and hard labor trouble. If you would like to sign for a parcel, please go to window B. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service, where all parcels are guaranteed to be delivered within acceptable margins of certainty. How may I be of assistance? <sighs> Let me just look that up for you. It appears that a parcel for Ms. Jolicoeur, comma, Celeste is currently out for delivery. It was, and now it's being delivered. Let me see here. A parcel for Jolicoeur, comma, Celeste is being delivered to 316 Rockwell in the Byzantium Estates. Thank you for allowing HPS to be your only option today. So, how many times I think we can both agree that Maverick Johnston is the finest director. Rhythm's not... Halcyon Parcel Service is proud to be the colony's only parcel delivery service. How may I be of assistance? I must respectfully ask that you calm down, please. Parcels must be picked up at window A.
If you would like to lodge a complaint about the quality of your service, please request a complaint form at window C. If you would like to request a complaint form at window C, please make an appointment. I see you're familiar with our company policy. Burning the midnight oil, are we? The Halcyon Parcel Service's work is never done. How may I be of assistance? Of course. If you could just verify for me that you are Jolicoeur, comma, Celeste, or an officially authorized proxy? Yes, I can see by your eccentric mode of dress that you must be one of Ms. Jolicoeur's associates. Everything seems to be in order. Here you are, one parcel. I hope this has been a pleasant and satisfying transaction. Halcyon Parcel Service thanks you for your patronage. I love Byzantium. Hey, careful. Don't go running around in the middle of a crime scene. You mean Ms. Jolie Kerr? She was reported for practicing a subversive aesthetic. We found her in her office, working on something perverse. She didn't cooperate. So we had to put her down. Never took her for a dissident sympathizer. Byzantium security regrets any disruption to regular flow of commerce. However, cultural and moral hygiene must always be maintained. Byzantium cultural standards are enforced by universal defense logistics. Universal defense logistics. Your first and last line of defense in the war against sedition. Remember that stranger I saw in the square? Shh. The one with the spacer's choice aficionado. Looked like she'd style her hair with engine. Anymore, my good man. I'd have to request a couch of labor, and you know how to treat labor. <laughs> 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 
just to commence our little tête à What do you suppose all that ruckus in Celeste's shop? So what if all those MSI suits made it on Monarch the whole time? I could do it. Easy. I've always loved that sculpture. from a few weeks ago was supposed to be based on a video accident. Looking for weapons? You've come to the right place. Every Byzantine needs high-quality armament, and you won't find better anywhere else. Why? To defend our property, of course. 50-bit says he's got a hard on right now. Byzantium is the best of what Halcyon has to offer. It's up to us to protect it. Marauders, dissidents, especially large sprats. One never knows what threat might arise. Only because we make it so. It is only the fear of the well-armed Byzantine that keeps the rabble at bay. One can never be too well-armed. Who knows when the hordes may hurl themselves at our gates? I only wish they weren't showing so many spacers. Choice ads. Why can't Better something exciting happen around here for once?
A reminder to all crew members, there is only one toilet on the ship. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Not so fast. All right, you're clear. The adjutant's expecting you. Go on through. I admit, part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said, he's also a wanted criminal. For information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. I understand you've infiltrated the Ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking, even disturbing. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. What's in this for you? There's gotta be an angle. There always is for people like you. I appreciate your skepticism, Dr. Fenhill, but I'm not doing this for any personal gain. My angle is the preservation of our colony by any means possible. Nothing more and nothing less. The powerful make the mistakes and the powerless are left paying the price, as it has always been. Tell me, Adjutant, have you anything to offer beyond the usual false platitudes? I'm offering decisive action, Vicar DeSoto. I can no longer depend on lazy, weak-willed bureaucrats to help me rescue Halcyon. I need someone with a backbone, someone like your captain. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse, but there is a way to save it. I'll answer however I can. The Lifetime Employment Program is not some malevolent strategy of an evil mastermind. There's no dark secret buried in the fine print. The program is logical, it's reasonable, it's merciful, and most importantly, it will work. Byzantium is the beating heart of our colony. And as long as Byzantium survives, Halcyon may one day recover from the collapse. We must protect this city at 
any cost. Help me execute the Lifetime Employment Program, and you will have earned a place of honor in Byzantium. You will live in comfort and want for nothing. We've already crossed the point of no return. The collapse has already begun. You must have noticed the signs in Emerald Vale. Malnutrition, disease, high mortality rates. This is a permanent famine, Captain. We've done all we can to curb their hunger. Very soon, people are going to realize they're starving. A famine is a problem of logistics as well as marketing. Your workers must remain productive on as little food as possible, and they must always believe that food is plentiful. I'm sure you remember Dr. Anton Crane. His research was instrumental in developing a powerful appetite suppressant. The solution is a temporary one. Before long, our workers are going to feel the effects of starvation. The Lifetime Employment Program is our only viable option. When you turned Phineas Wells over to me, I knew I could rely on you. You've demonstrated your ability to place duty above sentiment. And you deliver results. That quality alone is enough to separate you from the board's army of indecisive bureaucrats. Do you know how many meetings I have to sit through? How many papers I have to sign before I can make one decision? I'm only trying to rescue Halcyon from extinction. I can't save this colony alone. I need someone capable of working outside the system. Someone who can get things done. When I first discovered the truth, I was shocked, even disgusted. I wondered how we'd allowed a colony like Halcyon to fall into disarray. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized the colony had sown the seeds of its own destruction. We have become lazy and decadent. We smother ourselves in meaningless bureaucracies. We deliberate and argue and procrastinate. I've served the board long enough to understand its weaknesses. Running a colony requires swift and decisive action. The board is slow, ponderous, and prone to squabbling. That's why I'm relying on you. You deliver results without the paperwork. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. You handed Edgewater over to a band of dissidents. I can't have this. Adelaide McDevitt and her people have no place in the Halcyon that is to come. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. I get that you board types are all about efficiency, but isn't this a bit much? I'm asking your captain to amputate a rotting limb from the colony. I'd expect you to understand, Dr. Fenhill. I cannot condone this plan. Wanton's senseless destruction of life is never the solution. I don't need you to approve of my plan, Vicar. I need you to get it done. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. You replace a loyal, if hard-headed, town leader with a revolutionary. Adelaide's people have turned Edgewater into a hub of dissidents. 
These people are dangerous. They're going to become more dangerous after the collapse. We need to put them down. Now. Because right now you're the only person I can depend on. My hands are tied by endless rolls of red tape and bureaucratic limitations. Halcyon is going to collapse while the board hems and haws and debates minutia. We need to act, and you're the only person with the wherewithal to do what's necessary. I'm not asking you to be a murderer. I'm asking you to be a surgeon. Edgewater is a necrotic limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. Don't fool yourself. The dissidents occupying Edgewater are rebels harboring dangerous and seditious ideas. Left to their own devices, their numbers will grow. Graham Bryant and his merry band of morons caused enough trouble on Monarch. I won't risk the same thing happening in Edgewater. No. Allowing thousands of colonists to starve to death because we couldn't make one cold-blooded decision is insane. What I'm suggesting is absolutely logical. Steal your spine, Captain. Do what needs to be done. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be, Captain. I rather like you, and I'd hate to have you shot for disobeying a direct order. Not true. You can choose to say, yes, ma'am, or at once, Madam Adjutant, or as you wish, or even I'll take care of it. Edgewater is beyond saving. We're going to have to erase the town, but we're going to do it systematically. You were in the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant. Do you remember what you discovered there? You've been paying attention. You're absolutely right. In fact, Spacer's Choice manufactured the incident for an insurance claim. They outfitted their mechanicals with a termination protocol, which is exactly what we need. The insurance claim has been locked in committee for years, but the individual responsible for the accident was promoted for lateral thinking. I'm arranging for a delivery of mechanicals to Edgewater. These mechanicals have been equipped with the same termination protocol which must be activated from a terminal in the plant. Once the mechanicals are finished cleaning out Edgewater, I'll need you to go in and clean out the mechanicals. Understand? I appreciate the flattery, Captain. One last thing. Spacer's Choice sent a team of soldiers to investigate your little misadventure in the geothermal plant. Tread lightly. I like you, Captain, but you're not worth that much paperwork. I prefer keeping our relationship strictly off the books. Report back to me when the job's done.
Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. I definitely won that round. You always seem to, huh? That's because I'm usually right. Next time I work the scorecard. Sometimes I wonder about Mr. Hawthorne. What was he like? Why'd he make the computer a talkie? You think he got lonely, flying about on his own? Something on your mind? Hey, Cap. You're not really thinking of going through with this plan, right? Tell me I'm imagining things. That's Parvati's hometown. You're just gonna wipe it out? Vicar Max lived in Edgewater. We got folk from our own crew that called that place home. If you don't like this job, and I don't like this job, and nobody else on this ship likes this job, then why are you going through with it? Edgewater is a corporate town, not some marauder camp. They're asking you to wipe out their own people. I want to trust you, boss, but I'm going to need more than just your word. I need an explanation. I ain't asking you to do anything for me. I'm asking you to do the right thing. And if you can't, then we're not gonna be on good terms. Never mind. Let's just move on. If I still believed in the grand plan, a revelation like this would have seriously shaken my faith. Knowing you, I can only assume you have already begun formulating a plan to deal with this. So tell me, what are we going to do? Yes, of course. And when you do, you can count on me to back your play. Your instincts haven't failed us so far. Anything you'd like to discuss? I wouldn't say my parents disowned me, strictly speaking. But before they died, they accused me of thoughtlessly abandoning them. I couldn't understand it. I was only trying to make them proud by becoming a better vessel for the plan, to feel the joy they felt. I was so certain my potential was wasted as a laborer, and was willing to risk everything just to prove to them that they were wrong. I was lost, misguided.
you think I could hire myself out to ships in need someday? Be my own mechanic, like how Ellie's her own doctor? I wonder sometimes. Battery levels are fully charged. Where are we headed? The last of them. my sights on. Describe the nature of the accident. Uh, it's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. This area is currently experiencing a surprise audit. Turn around and head back to your designated workplace or domicile. Oh, uh, yes. Absolutely. A real stickler for the rules. Hard-ass Hogarth, that's what they call me. That's, uh, that's Hogarth with one G, by the way, if you're putting in a good word with the Honorable Adjutant. Don't let me get in your way. Go on through.